There is no antidote for me. Who will have the fortune of facing me today? So many strings waiting to be pulled. Come, look me in the eyes. Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Casio today. She's a late game scaling mage, pretty much the AP version of a hyper carry. So her passive, you're not able to buy boots, instead you get permanent bonus movement speed with every single level. So this is awful in the early game, but it's going to give you a lot more bonus movement speed in the later stages compared to if you had boots. And then E, the Twin Fang, is what you want to start with. So that's a low cooldown, single target damaging ability. And the thing is, this is what you used to last it with on Casio because it pretty much has no cooldown. And if you last hit something with it, like if you kill something with it, then the mana is also refunded. So this is the main way that you farm with on Casio. It's your main farming tool, but it's also your main damage. This is pretty much what makes Casio a hyper carry. Um, so it barely deals any damage unless the target is poisoned. If the target is poisoned, then it's going to deal a lot more damage and it will also heal you. So at level 1 guys, even though it barely deals any damage, it can still help you stack up that Conqueror really fast. So what you want to do is that you win auto attacks between each E. Uh, if you do that, then you can stack Conqueror up really fast and you also get to trade really efficiently. Your Q is one of the ways that you poison targets, um, so it's like AoE, and if you hit an enemy champion with it, then you're going to poison them for a short duration, you also get some bonus movement speed. So this is one of the two ways that you poison people, and the other way is your W, um, which also field on the ground, and people who step on it will be slowed, and they will also be grounded. Grounded means that if when they're inside that W, they will not be able to use any movement ability, they will also not be able to flash out. So this is um, her way of shutting down those high mobile champs, because as soon as they are inside that W, they're gonna be stuck and they will not be able to use any movement ability whatsoever. So this is really really good for shutting down those mobile champions like the Yasuo, uh, Talon and so on. So what you want to do on Casio, early game is pretty, um, you had to chill out in the early game, she's a scaling champ, you can still play aggressive, but you really have to watch that mana pool, because if you spam that E, you're going to run out of mana really fast. Um, so what you have to do is that make sure that you farm with that E, but you look for short trades, where you make sure that you weave in auto attacks. That's especially crucial in the early game, because your auto attacks deal a lot of damage in the early game, um, so make sure to do that, and if you can do that very often guys, then you will learn to um, memorize the damage output, uh, the damage you're able to deal on this champ, and even in the early game you'll be able to pick up kills. This is not going to happen every single time, but you'll be able to do it sometimes, and that is going to help you snowball. So we start off with a tier, and that's of course mana is super super important on Castro because it's a champion that spams her abilities, like her E almost has no cooldown. So you'll be spamming it, so of course you need the mana for it as well. Always remember uh, that the key is that you poison people, uh, because that's how you make your E do damage. If you hit people who are not poisoned with that E, it's almost not going to do any damage. Um, so it's very important that you mark people with your Q or your W. Um, it does not have to be poison from your kit. Like if you have teammates who can poison people, then your E also works for that. So if you have something like a Twitch, Timo or a Singed, then that also works. So she's pretty mobile. Um, that's the problem with Casio. Is that if she needs some mobility, like the bonus movement speed, she relies a lot on hitting people with the Q. And if they're out of range, then she will not be able to do that, and then she's going to be completely immobile. That means that it is a champion who suffers a lot against ranged team comps, like if they have high range champs like the Sarath, Vilkos, Six, and so on. Also, Sundra is also very difficult, so you do not want to pick her into that, but she does very well into. Um, Short range team comps or mid range team comps. 
And then she's also very, very good against tanks. Like she's going to absolutely destroy tanks. Because she's a hyper carry and you can build anti-tank items like the demonic embrace, lion resign, anguish and so on. So she's very good against beefy comps and low to mid-range comps. Now the ultimate, that is a engage ability. So people who are facing in your direction will be stunned and everyone else is going to get slowed and of course um, they will also take damage. So of course you try to um, use it when people are facing in your direction. You can also use the ultimate plus flash combo to catch people off guard. But this is the main way that when you engage onto people, you try to stun them first for the ultimate. Then you place a W below them, so they are not able to use any movement ability, they are also not able to flash away. Then you hit them with a Q, and then you just spam that E. That is going to shred almost every single champ in the game. Since you do not have to buy boots, that means that you have 6 free item slots. So you have 1 extra item compared to every single other champion in the game, because they have to buy boots and you don't. Except for Yumi of course, but... That means that you scale into such an insane hyper carry in the late game, you can buy one extra damaging item or you can buy one extra defensive item. So that's going to make you absolutely ridiculous in the late game, especially if they have a lot of tanks or bruisers, because that's why Casio becomes really really strong, because he's going to destroy every single one of them. The key with Casio when you play in the landing phase is that you play for the scaling. Uh, keep in mind that if the enemy uh, team composition has champions like the uh, Psyche, then you want to keep in mind that they will most likely be trying to camp you in the mid lane because you are immobile. So really easy target for them to gank, so you want to be really careful and only play aggressive when you know that the enemy uh, jungler will not be able to kill you or gank you. So only play aggressive when you can see the enemy jungler on other parts of the map or if you're confident enough to win a 1 vs 2. Of course you need items for that uh, because um, if you don't have items then even if you are better mechanically you won't have the mana uh, to spam the uh, abilities. So the key here is hitting your Qs. It is a skill shot and like the easiest way to hit it is that when people try to walk up to last hit a minion because then they will be within range and they're going to stand still for like a split second and that's what you can abuse. So when they like walk up to last hit a minion, that's when you try to hit them with a Q and then you just spam that E. Now Casio is a hyper carry, but she's also very very hard to master, hard to pick up as well. Um, she is immobile and she has a lot of um, skill shots. Like pretty much all of her abilities are skill shots and if you don't poison the target in a fight then you're going to deal zero damage and you're going to be useless so it's a champion that takes a lot of games for you to master. So you can of course play really aggressive, uh, most of the time you are going to be stronger than the opponent um, if you fight like in a 1 versus 1. Especially if it's a kill. Um, these are the types of champs that Casio does really well into, like those short to mid range uh, champions, because whenever they damage you, you always be within range. And when you're within range, then Casio is going to out damage them because she has almost no cooldown on that E guys. And that is what makes her a hyper carry. And then as you get more ability haste, you're going to turn into a machine gun in the mid lane. So when you see the enemy jungler trying to gank you, um, Psyche is very very dangerous for a Cassiopeia. You want to go to the opposite side of where he's at, so if he was trying to gank from the bottom side, then you want to try to hover around the top side brush, like in the mid lane. Um, because that's a way that you can avoid and if he keeps chasing, then you can always just run away. So that W is actually what makes Cassio really annoying to play against. Um, for example, if you place it on the side, then he will not be able to slingshot. So he's going to be left immobile. So this is a champion that can do really well into those high mobile champs. 
Really good at shutting them down in fights as well. The problem is that she's immobile, so you definitely do not want to pick her into team compositions who has some long range champs, like champs who can hit you from afar, like Sarah's 6 Vilkos. Because they'll, if they play properly, then they'll be almost impossible to shut down and you'll not be able to do anything in the landing phase. Like they can just stay far away and then just perma poke you down. So be careful in the lane and now we have enough gold for the mythic item so you have a couple options here you have the crown that's very good if you play against assassins otherwise you want to go for landris because that gives you a lot of ability haste and that also gives you a lot of damage like the crown is going to be useless as soon as that uh, shield is procced like the damage reduction shield when that's gone then that item becomes really awful but landris is good the entire time And of course, it also scales really good, very good against Prusas and tanks as well. So for the mythic items, then this is the best one that you can buy, but you still want that crown if you play against a lot of assassins because that will keep you alive. Uh, because as long as you can stay alive, then you're going to out damage them. So now that we do have the Lion Race, we also want the Archangels. As I said, it's a champion that spams abilities, so you want a lot of mana, and that's where the mana component comes in, the tier, as well as the Archangels, and it also allows you to scale a lot better, uh, because the new one also gives you quite a lot of uh, ability haste, actually, guys, and of course that helps out a ton, even though your E has a really low cooldown. Those extra split seconds you get really helps out in a teamfight. So you can play really aggressive, at this point I'm really fed, so 1 vs 2 should be no problem. Still have to watch out for the CC though, because even though you have a ridiculous amount of damage, if you get chained CC then you're still going to die really fast, because Casio is very squishy. Don't have a lot of HP items until later on in the game. Right now we, we are not, we're really squishy, so if people manage to like... Um, Chain CCRs, they can burst us down before we get to uh, damage them. So positioning is super super important on those immobile uh, short range champs like the Casio. You can also look for rooms, like I've roamed a couple times this game and they have ended up in kills so far, so it's also important that you have some proper map awareness. Like, if you manage to place that W well, guys, then you can also prevent people from flashing away, and that can, most of the time, end up giving you a free kill. You can see that damage. There is no champion who can match that DPS at this point in the game. Um, so it's a champion that's very good in extended fights, especially when you have the Conqueror. Um, use that because she can stack it up really fast and of course it is a champion that wants to go for extended fights and that's why Conqueror is really good. But you can also go for other keystones like the face rush. Um, that's very good if they have like super mobile champs. Um, Squishy champs but super mobile because then you can kite them as well and really make sure that they are not like um, running away from you or they're trying to like damage you from afar because you get a lot of bonus movement speed that you can like use to uh, catch up. We're sitting on a lot of gold so we just want to base again. We can get the Archangels and then the next item. Um, you have a couple options. If they have a lot of MR then you want the Void Staff but I really like to get the Cosmic Drive as well because that gives you a lot of ability haste and also some mobility and that's something you definitely want on Casio uh, because she's short ranged and she's immobile. So every point of extra 
Bonus Moon Speed is going to help out a lot. Be careful that you don't waste that W guys because it does have a pretty high cooldown. So it's only an ability that's going to help you once in an early game team fight. so make sure that you place it well. Um, it's really good, like if you play against the Fizz, like the AP Assassin, if you place it properly, um, then he's going to be stuck on the ground and you'll be able to kill him. Otherwise he's going to jump around like with his C and his Q as well. Um, he will be too mobile for you to deal with, so really make sure that you're patient with that W. And place it down before they get to use their bone uh, movement ability. Because if they do it before you hit that W, um, it will have no effect and then you most likely end up dead if you're playing against an assassin. Because she has high DPS, um, because she's a hyper carry, that also means that you can do objectives really fast. Like you can solo objectives pretty easily, like the dragon, but it's going to consume a lot of mana. So if you are deciding to do so, make sure that you have the vision control and make sure that the enemy team does not know that you're doing it. Because the jungler can always come and steal it with a smite. So those will be risky plays, but if you manage to pull it off, then of course you're going to be rewarded because then your jungler does not have to pass down. He can focus on ganging um, your other teammates or he can focus on farming up as well. But this is the mid game point and when that starts you want to be in the side lane. Uh, you do, do that because um, Cassio, very strong as a split pusher, um, she can destroy. Almost every single champ in a 1 vs 1, like even a Kassadin, but that's like a skill matchup where you have to play it perfectly, but she can win 1 vs 1 against every single champion in the game, if you play it right. So you want to abuse that fighting power, and the way you do that is by being in the side lane, so you like force somebody to come and defend against you, and then you try to pick up kills. And then of course you also get solo XP and gold for yourself, that's also very important as a mid laner because that is the only way that you can stay up in farm. Also when you have extra time, like when you rotate from the bot to mid lane, um, try to pick up the jungle camps on the way. They, you can also do those really fast because you have no cooldown on your E, so you're going to shred the objectives as well. So make sure that you pick that up so you also get some extra XP and gold. So I can really maintain that XP lead. But if you're low HP guys, you have a lot of sustain actually because of that E. So you just poison the entire minion wave and then you just kill them with E. That's going to like take out the wave really fast, but it's also going to heal you. So that's a way of you to heal back up without having to recall. And then of course you also have Ravenous Hunter, um, Cassio, one of the few champions left who really can still abuse Ravenous Hunter. Because her main damaging ability is a single target damaging ability, that means that, that you get everything, like full effect of the Ravenous Hunter. Like the healing is going to be reduced if um, you damage people with AoE, but since your main damaging ability is single target, then you're going to get the maximum amount of healing. So in a team fight, you play Casio like a AD carry, is that you stay with your backline and then you just hit whoever is walking up. That does not matter if it's the tank or whoever it is. You just hit the closest target and it doesn't matter if it's the tank because Casio is really good at shutting down tanks. Like she's going to completely destroy tanks. Um, so you play her like an AD carry where you stay in the backline and then you just hit whoever is walking up. And because you're Casio, you're going to shred them insanely fast and then you just move on to the next target. 
And she's also very good at peeling her carries because of that W and the ultimate. So assassins really have to watch out when there's a Casio in the enemy team. Because if you make one mistake against her and she drops that W below you, you're going to be stuck and you're going to die. I got the blue buff and then we just hit bot lane. Pick up that wave as well. And then we're gonna have the cosmic drive. That's going to give you so much ability haste and also some really nice bonus movement speed so you become even more mobile. It's going to help out a lot. Like at every point in the game, even in team fights, because um, it helps you like kite people, make sure that they're not within range of seizing you or you can like move around and really avoid taking uh, damage from bruise sword attacks and such. So it helps a lot with kiting as well. So I got the Cosmic Drive now. The next item you can buy, um, if they have a lot of MR, you want to get the Void Staff. You can also get the um, Rylais, that is the one that slows on abilities. This is even better for shutting down people. Um, so as soon as you hit somebody with a Q, they're going to be perma slowed. And then of course you follow up with that E as well that has no cooldown. And then almost no one will be able to escape. This becomes even better when you fight Bruisers, uh, because um, they're pretty easy to kite when you have their slow from the Rylais. They will not be able to catch up to you. So Casio becomes even more fun to play as soon as you have the Rylais. So that is also an item that you can purchase, but at this point, if they have a lot of MR, then you want to make sure that you have the Void stuff first. And because she does have a lot of built-in sustain, you never have to like, you don't always have to base when you're low HP. If you can find a nearby minion wave or a monster cam, then you should be able to heal back up to full. Because of that healing on your E as well as that Ramless Hunter. And then the Seraph's Embrace as well, so you do have a lot of sustain. You really want to make sure that you are prioritizing farming. That's even more important on these scaling champs like the Casio, the Kill, Kassan and Vladimir and so on because they're really weak in the early game. You really won't be able to contest a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of the times you also won't be able to help out your jungler if they're contesting jungle camps, the skull crabs and so on. So the only way that you can help out is that if you farm well, and you get the three items as fast as possible and that's when you start helping out your teammates and really carrying the game. It's a champion that really shines in those 1 vs 2s, 1 vs 3s and so on, like she has really high outplay potential but you have to be really good with the skill shots and you have to know exactly when to use your ultimate and your W as well. So it is a champion that rewards you uh, for the time put into her. Like she has really really high soul carry potential. But you also have to be willing to invest a lot of time into this champ. Because she's very hard, like really really difficult to pull off properly. Um, so it's not a champion that new players should pick up. Unless you're willing to invest a lot of time into learning this champ. So we got the Baron buff and then we can also take the blue buff and then we just have to um, reset because now we can also get um, the Rylais and that means that we get perma slows on the abilities. So now on top of getting a lot of bonus movement speed we also get slows so this makes us even better at kiting. Like at this point in the game, you're going to completely shred every single champ. You make sure that they cannot escape with your W. And then now you also have the uh, slow from the Rylais. 
So almost no one will be able to escape. And of course, if they have some long, someone like a Sag, then you also have your W. The grinding ability, so he will not be able to jump away. So no matter who is coming to face you, you're going to destroy them in a 1 versus 1. And remember that Casio is the champ that you want to pick if you if they have like a heavy uh, tank bruiser come and you need some AP damage as well, then Casio is perfect. You don't always have to like stun people with the ultimate. Like it's also fine that you use it to slow with or just for damage because your Q is a skill shot, so it can be pretty difficult to hit. So what you can do is that you just use the ultimate to start off with, so like slow them, and then it becomes a lot easier to hit your Q, so you can follow up with your twin fangs. So just keep split pushing because we can pressure from the sideline. If your teammates go for team fights all the time, then of course you want to make sure that you're grouping up, especially if you have ignite. Because if, without CP, then you will not be able to help them, help them across the map. So um, make sure that you're grouping up then. But split pushing is by far the best way of you getting solo XP and gold. So just have to go for the end here and that is pretty much the game guys um so this was how to play casio um so i hope this was helpful as always thanks for watching and see you all in the next one